All right, guys, I'm gonna get some hate comments on this video, so people are not gonna like that, so I'm just gonna say it. Jackson Guitars is dead, and ESP is the new king. Um, hold up, though. Here's the thing. I grew up on Jackson's. The, the neck, the string spacing, they have the slightly wider string spacing than everyone else. The shapes, the they're, they're iconic. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember watching a, a live Slayer video and Jeff Hanneman was playing his black soloist with the Dead Kennedy sticker on it. And I was like, that's the guitar I want with those shark fin inlays, dude. That thing is the coolest thing ever. I loved the shapes. I loved the history of, you know, Grover buying out Charvel and then working with Randy Rhodes and creating Jackson and creating the RR1 was the first one. And it's like the coolest V shape out there. It's one of the coolest guitars ever. And then they started this thing. They've got all these badass high performance guitars with all these aw these awesome necks and the coolest specs ever and they're just so rad and the quality was so high back then man i'm, I'm still I'm, I'm like excited about jackson guitars but now it's just they're just selling a, a ghost a shell of what they once were and just just hucking out these guitars as quickly as they can to make as much money as they possibly can. And they're overpriced and the quality sucks and they're just not good anymore. Uh, some of the new ones that just came out look really cool, man. They got that, uh, the new concept series with the, um, the camo that Rhodes with the camo, the seven string, that thing looks rad, dude. They got some rad guitars. I was so hopeful for the, uh, the made in Japan ones. I got my hands on one today, only one but I'm pretty sure they all have the problems I'm gonna talk about. Um, it had some issues and it's way overpriced and I am not going to buy one. There's just no way. You, you, look, at, you look at the price of this thing. So I, I found, I looked up and I tried to find a comparative uh, ESP model. I got an E2 M2 neck through, I'll put this on the screen. And I got an Ibanez Prestige RG5150 5170B, which is made in the same factory as the Jackson's Fujigen. Um, all similar specs, except the Ibanez has a bolt on instead of a neck through, like I think all the Prestige do right now. Um, but the E2 has locking Grover tuners, um, it has EMGs, it's neck through, ebony uh, fretboard, pretty much all the same specs. You know, it's got EMGs instead of Duncan's, but whatever. Um, $2,000. The Jackson SL2 Pro, $2,700, $700 more. That is insane. Why is it $700 more? And you get this super shitty hard soft case thing that they get. I'll roll the video right now. Check this out. Look at how this thing wiggles around in there. That's not protective. That doesn't protect your $2,700 guitar. Like, what, what are these people thinking, man? And not only does it not really protect your guitar, because if you drop the case or if it gets jilted, you know, you slam on your brakes when it's in your van or your car or whatever, that guitar is going to shift inside of there and there's nothing to absorb that impact. And you may break a headstock in that. That's a dangerous thing. The guitar flops around inside the case. It's not protecting it. And it takes up a ton of space like a hard case would, but it doesn't protect it. So you're not getting a good trade off there. Why don't they just give us a gig bag or give us a proper case that they, they have made for them in China that probably only costs them like 40 bucks a pop. They're charging $700 more. Why can't they give us a good hard case like the Ibanez or like the E2? Both have really nice form-fitting hard cases specifically for that body shape. Um, blows my mind. So all the specs are comparable. You know, the Jackson has the Godo Floyd the E2 has an original Floyd Rose, and the Ibanez has the Low Pro Edge. They're all great trims. Those are the top three, um, as far as I'm concerned, in the world. They're all level playing field. They all have brand name pickups. The Ibanez has Fluence, and it has three pickups, so it costs even more. Uh, the Jackson says it has Godos, but they're Jackson branded tuners, so who knows? Um, maybe that was, they meant to put Godos on it, but they're actually putting some cheap Jackson branded ones. Which they do on all their guitars. Even my custom shop one that I had for a day had uh, Jackson branded tuners on it, didn't it? Actually, I don't remember now. I know the USA standard ones do. So there's that, and the fit and finish on the um, 
on the Jackson. The finish looked good. It's gloss black, so it shows absolutely everything, and it's almost impossible to show up on camera. Finish looked fine. The fret work, there were a couple slightly high frets. I think that's just temperature moving. Um, it felt great to play. It sounded great, definitely. The, the fret edges were rolled over slightly, so it felt really nice. Uh, the nut was cut properly. Uh, the bridge, the guy returned it. So I don't know if he messed with it, um, but the bridge was sunk all the way in and the studs were up to make the action decent. So I don't know if he messed with it or if it came that way. I have no way to know. I doubt that it came that way from Fujigen though. They're a great factory. Um, the other thing that was... <laughs> Wait till you hear this, dude. So the back plate on it. They're using these really cool aluminum back plates, right? They look rad. I, I love the idea of it. I think it's really cool. The old one, so here's 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 a video of a 2013 Made in Indonesia RRMG. It's not mine yet. It might be eventually. But listen to what happens when I tap on the back of it and notice how flush it fits with the back of the guitar. Okay, so that that was cool. That's a cool, uh, that's way better than plastic, right? I think it's cool. Look what it's like on the new Made in Japan ones. Look at this lip. The, the, the metal is so thin and they must have used the, um, the program for the CNC machine from the old ones when they had nice thick metal plates. So you, you see it, right? So now listen to this. L listen to what happens when you tap on this thing. This is what, what are you doing, Jackson? What are you doing, man? This is crazy. Listen to this. Isn't that maddening? Twenty-seven hundred dollar guitar. So, like I said, they must have used the old program because the 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 route for that cover to go in is sunk so way down, and can. all that finish is gonna chip out on your belt buckle, and you're gonna have all kinds of chips and all kinds of issues from that. Um, but that metal is so thin; it sounds like a pop can. What are they doing, dude? Are they are they crushing up Red Bulls in the back behind the factory and uh, you know shaping them into Jackson backplate covers? So that was mind boggling. But that's that's pretty much it for the the MJ. Um, besides the case and the back covers not fitting, that was a pretty rad guitar. But way too much money for what it is. They should sell it for less for like eighteen hundred or. I guess to be in line with Ibanez and uh, ESP, which are better guitars, they don't have those issues because those companies take pride in what they do. That's, that's the thing here. This Jackson Guitars now is taking something, and this is why I find it so offensive. They took something so great as what Grover Jackson did to build up the company, to build something so incredible and amazing as Jackson Guitars, and they're just, it's just a money grab now. They're just using the name and the shape and the, the emotions that us Jackson lovers feel when they see a Jackson. Like, oh, dude, that's a Jackson. Yeah, check it out. That's a badass guitar, you know? I, I feel that inside and then I, I get it in my hands or I get within 10 feet of it and I'm like, oh, God, what is this? It's, it's just disgusting. But Ibanez and ESP don't do that. They have pride and honor and they care. And a lot of that's probably because of Japanese companies and... Japanese business people have different values than American business people, so it seems. I don't know, I've never been to Japan, but it sure seems that way to me. So, before I bought this LTD, which I just did, just did a big review on, um, you guys can go check out that video. Absolutely in love with this guitar. This was, these retail for $10.49 uh, with the Floyd Rose. I think it's, I think it's $50 or $100 less for the non-Floyd Rose version. That's what I got, that's what I wanted. And I love it. And the fit and finish is absolutely exceptional. This is this is the quality level of what you would expect from the highest end of guitars. As far as fit and finish, how everything fits together, um, the attention to detail on everything. Even, you know, somebody hand sanded these joints and they're perfect. You know, a CNC machine gets the basic shape, but there's a ton of handwork that goes into guitars after that. And depending on how much time and how much um, 
patience and skill is involved, you're going to get a different outcome. And the Jackson guys are, are telling these companies, hey, man, like just, uh, just, just get them out as quick as possible. Don't spend too much time. If there's problems and it still plays okay, just send it out. That's what's happening. And it's, it's because we allow it. That's it's because we allow it. So as as soon as more people agree with me, and we stop buying Jackson guitars because they don't give a shit about us, then they're gonna change. Just like Gibson did. They got they kicked out their CEO, and got a new one, and Gibson guitars will change. Go watch the go watch the. Uh, there's a tour from I think Premier Guitar that I watched a while back, and I think it's just called like Tour of the ESP Japan Factory. They're all metalheads, dude. And they have to go through like two years of training or something like that before they can even start working on the floor from what I remember. And then, uh, yeah, it's crazy. So anyway, before I bought this, I bought an Indonesian Jackson King V, $1,000, $50 less than this, basically the same price point. Uh, very similar specs, you know, it was neck through, uh, had Duncans, this has a Duncan, uh, Floyd Rose, 1000 series, same as this, uh, Ebony Board, same thing. And, um, you know, it's just a different body shape, basically, and it's got one pickup, and uh, it's got a blackout instead of a distortion. Um, but the specs are pretty much the same. This has got Grover's instead of Jackson braided. The finish on that thing looked like it was done by a freaking three-year-old. It was the worst finish I've ever seen on any guitar in my life. Uh... And I have seen a lot of guitars. It was awful. It was so uneven. I'm going to show the pictures on the screen now. It's black. Again, I, I bought it at Guitar Center. Returned it pretty much immediately. As soon as I saw the finish, I was like, there's no way I can put this on my wall. I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to blow my brains out every time I look at this thing because it's so disappointing. It was so bad. Every every surface was super wavy. It had scratches in the finish that were painted over. It had uh, scratches on the neck. It just felt like a cheap, uh, you know, like a guitar you get at Walmart or something, like a first act. It just felt cheap, and it looked awful. The finish was just horrible, dude. Played fine. Played totally fine. Uh, nothing wrong with the way it played. The frets were fine. Had a couple slightly uneven frets, but not enough to really buzz even with low action so the setup was fine i'll give him that um but the finish was just god awful man it was horrible so uh yeah had to set it back i just i can't i can't spend my money on why, why would i be proud of that you know guitar players are such pride prideful people and they're so proud of their instruments and they love their instruments so much there's not many other things that you can buy that people love and adore as much as guitarists love their guitars, right? I mean, there's cars and motorcycles, but maybe guns or something, I don't know. Um, why would I want to buy some cheap ripoff of what was once a great thing? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be proud of that. Anyway, dude, I'm, I've been ranting for 13 minutes now, so I'm going to shut up, but Jackson Guitars is dead. ESP is the new king, man. Uh, Ibanez is very close. I just don't prefer them. I prefer ESP, but Ibanez are great guitars. Schechter makes some great stuff. Uh, let's see, who else is doing metal stuff? Solar? I don't know. Never seen one in person. Uh, I don't have a con I know there's some controversy right now with that. I don't have anything to say about it because I have no experience with them. Ola's is really cool. I love his videos. He's cool. Um, that's about it. See you next time, guys.